And uh, I just wanted to give you a brief overview of uh, the project structure for Novit 20. So you don't waste a lot of time uh, figuring out where is what code is where and uh, just dive into the code directly. Uh, here is the basic structure as you can see on my screen. Um, and uh, one one new feature that we have used for this uh, this project is the Kotlin MPP, uh, which basically enables you to use uh, the same block of code in both Android and iOS. Uh, you can use it across various platforms, but right now we are just using it for Android and iOS. The shared code block that you see here uh, would contain all of your common code that is going to be shared across both platforms. So you just write your code once out here uh, in, in these folders, and then you can basically kind of extend it to your Android or iOS code. Um, let me quickly take you through the Android uh, uh, code structure. Uh, this is where all of the code is. If you go into SRC main Java um, and this folder, um, here I've just uh, divided it into three folders as as of for now. That's activity, fragment, and helper. Activity would may basically contain your main activity, so that's gonna be the main component. Uh, and fragments are like pieces or child components of the activity. Uh, so anytime you press a button or anytime you want to load something new, the fragment is something that gets replaced instead of the whole activity loading again and again. So these are all of the pages or the screens of the app that you see here and this is going to keep growing uh, as and when we uh, write the code for more layouts uh, one of the things i want to point out is uh, the code is here in fragment.kotlin file whereas the layout is what you'll find in resources layout and out here so these are basically the visual structures the XMLs for the layouts and you can look at the code as well as the design uh, for these uh, pages and then these are tied back to the fragment classes. So the code is here and the layouts are here uh, in case uh, you want to modify anything or add anything. So this is what so so these are just the layouts of the screens that I have completed so far and uh, these will keep growing on so all of the layouts uh, you will find in this folder and all of the code you would find in the fragment folder helper class helper class is uh, something that i wrote uh, uh, which is like used all the time so right now it just has one function which is which is helping the fragment to replace so this will be called anytime you press a button to load another view or another screen um, and it's going to call uh, replace fragment with and it's going to replace the next fragment. So since this was used in almost every screen, I thought it would be better to write a common function that can be extended in all of the classes. So this is what that does. Um, and then uh, one more thing I wanted uh, to show you guys is uh, the shared code. Okay. How do we use the shared code? So basically till now, since I'm just working on the layouts, uh, all I have done is just create the layouts and the button code, etc. like whatever you see on the screen. Um, let me actually run this once so I can show you. So the, these are the screens of the app and then the code right now in the repository is just the code for like, for example, for showing this text, this text, this button, what happens when a button clicks. So there is no actual business logic involved uh, right now. Uh, so we were thinking how, how can we share the code? So the only code that can be shared is the text uh, that you see out here. Uh, which would be the same, um, which would be same across both Android and iOS. So this text uh, needs to be shared. So that's the reason that I have created button text enum and text enum. So button text enum would contain all of your button names. For example, start, continue, report. These are the names of the buttons that appear on the buttons, uh, which will obviously be the same, be it Android or iOS. Um, so it, it can be shared. That's the reason I put it into this enum uh, as well as the text. So all the text, all the hard coded text that's going to be um, that that's going to be seen on the app can also be shared. 
So it's going to be common across both Android and iOS. That's what the reason you see it out here. Now, the way you use it, it's it's configured in, in the build.gradle file. If you guys are interested, you can just open up this file and see how it's configured. So this has all of the configuration to make it common across both platforms. And if you see, these are the names of the folders. So anytime you change uh, the folder names out here you will have to change it in the gradle file as well so common main android main and ios so that's where its main uh, configuration lies uh, the way you use it is um, out here so for example if i want to use the start button uh, I would just extend it simply. You don't need to do anything extra. Uh, the editor would give you uh, auto text. So for example, you see here in this one, or I think a better example would be, let me take you to the first screen. So you see the work together text is right here, which is work together. And then the fragment is work together fragment out here. Now, in order to use the text enum, all I need to do is this is your um, text line from the layout. And then all you need to do is text enum dot work together dot text value. This is going to give you this value. And that's going to show up on the layout. So it's as simple as that. On the iOS side as well, you would have your own layouts and the corresponding code for iOS and you need to use it in the same way. And same goes for the button text. If I have a button, like you have the continue button out here. Um, all I would do is continue button dot text is equals to button text enum dot continue dot button name. That's gonna give me, oh, sorry. That's going to give me the button name. And then any changes done to this enum will be reflected both on Android and iOS. That's how we save writing this file again and again for both. So it's going to be the same file and the same values that will be reflected on both platforms. So that's about it. I'm going to continue uh, working on these fragments and layouts. Uh, if you have any, any further questions, uh, feel free to get back to me. Have a good one.